Hey there, Leo. It's time for your weekly horoscope where we talk about the most prominent themes and energies that are going to be impacting all areas of your life in one fashion or another. Quick reminder, if you're watching your rising sign, remember your rising sign horoscope is going to be providing you with additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign horoscope is going to show up. And your moon sign horoscope is going to be presenting you with the B plot or the subplot that is going on, the less prominent narrative that is also going on maybe in a more close to home kind of circumstance. And if you ever want to get a session with me or leave a tip or a donation, you can always go to my website, integrativemysticism.com. And uh, if you wonder what I've got going on my lap, it's a Persephone. All right. So let's see what's going on when it comes to your cards. You have the hangman reversed, the empress reversed, the five of pentacles upright, the moon reversed, and the four of wands upright. And looks like this week, a lot of decisions <laughs> that you have put off, procrastinated, or maybe even tried to outsource are getting made for you. And it, when we talk about decisions getting made for you, this can show up in a number of ways. Um, but what I'm actually getting here is that it's things actually making up your mind based on how they are evolving. A process of elimination is beginning in a way that it is actually showing you the future outcome or the future trajectory of a great deal that you have been maybe struggling to decide uh, whether or not it's worth it for you to actually continue. Now, I, again, this is across the board, so this could be talking about an offer. This could be talking about an investment. This could be talking about a relationship. This could be talking about a move. All, you, you're going to be encountering this in all areas of your life, but the cool thing is, is we have movement going on here, right? No more procrastination. No more waiting on the final day, the final conversation. This is a huge accelerant month anyway. We've been talking about that in the incoming waves forever. And this is where a lot of things that would not budge are either getting made to budge or we are having things starting to get plucked out so they can actually move forward. And it's not all going to be uh, necessarily a bad revelation for you or a bad experience for you because a lot of the things that are making up your mind are the uh, are, are the proofs or maybe just the, the the results that you're going to be observing when it comes to uh, matters that have become a lost cause. And when we look at things that could be considered a lost cause, it's really important to understand that this is not coming from a place of judgment and it's not a personal reading, right? Because I'm, I'm talking to all the Leos. <laughs> Lost causes don't necessarily have to be something that is that that you know needs to be judged or should be judged. It shouldn't be judged, but it, you're kind of seeing where maybe certain connections, certain commitments, whether it's people involved or projects or pursuits that we've got going on, have hit the wall for a reason, and 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 cannot go further. Maybe it is something that is going on in 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 a person's personal journey or their growth up until this point. Maybe it's something to do with the level of cost versus profit when it comes to time or resources and some kind of pursuit or engagement that you've got going on. Is it worth it to all involved? Well, in a lot of cases, it looks like the answer is going to be no, no matter what the maybe emotional body might be wishing were different here. So this is going to be making up a lot of decisions that, again, maybe have been procrastinated for far too long. And a lot of these lost cause commitments, connections, projects, pursuits are going to be cut from your life and go away. And there will, of course, be a bit of grieving over that, a bit of sorrow. Maybe we're feeling bad it didn't do better. Maybe we're feeling bad it ended up this way. Maybe we just feel bad because how it might be affecting somebody else, even if it is in the long term, in the highest interest of all concerned, nobody, you know, not, it, it might not feel that way to whoever is actually receiving that news. And as this goes forward, you are, however, going to need to pay attention to where you're also going to need to start welcoming in the new, you know, that which has been waiting on these hit the wall types of situations to get out of the way, right? They hit the wall. Now that they're out of the way, you've got more room. Start welcoming in 
the new, whether it's the new companions, whether it's the new connections, the new job, the new project, um, the, the new commitment opportunities here, because you're seeing a lot of veils drop around you over the course of this week. You're seeing a lot of uh, secrets now being revealed and they are revealing to you maybe shortcuts, easier ways to get to the goals you didn't know you were taking the long way to get to. And you are also seeing what is behind or what has been behind a great deal of these delayed lessons and delayed decisions. Whether we've been putting it off right and we've been kind of misdirecting our, our thoughts and intentions and our focus into other areas, we've been letting maybe other people call shots for us or we've been letting ourselves kind of, again, sit still. Now we're starting to see with this vacancy or these, these vacancies opening up throughout our space, we are actually able to see what was obscured or clouding us. And what when the clouds are not there, you're also finding that there is an opening, there is a breakthrough that is actually welcoming you to join forces with it. Uh, this could be a breakthrough in a professional way, a creative way. I am seeing for a lot of you, you're kind of finding a new sense of home. There is a really strong sense of homecoming this week. Yes, I do also see this eventually leading to possible new relationship opportunities as well, or something new for an existing relationship to go plant its roots in. And we are allowing ourselves to slip into that, but there, it can't be had with a lot of the old baggage and a lot of the old dead weight. So you are going to need to pay attention to that. You can't sneak it in to paradise. This is a time where you got to pay attention to where this is uh, all working for you, but we are ripping off a Band-Aid this week as well. So that is what I've got for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And if you ever want to get a session, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.